In this video, I'll show you how to edit vertical videos in dynamic style in Adobe Premiere Pro. How to add camera movement, captions, graphic elements, sound effects, and so on. First of all, let's take a look at the result. Here are three ways how you can start making money online. The first way is freelancing. Leverage your skills in writing, graphic design, programming, video editing, etc. on platforms like Upwork or Fiverr. Your expertise can turn into real money. By the way, I recommend you to follow the link in the description and take my Premiere Pro video course, in which I will teach you how to edit different videos, not only horizontal, but also vertical. And now let's get down to business. Let's open Premiere Pro and in the project window, add the materials with which we will work. For this, double click here with the left mouse button and select the desired video. Here they are. Right away, we create the structure of the materials. To do this, create a new bin. Click on this icon. Label it as video and transfer our video materials to this folder. Let's also create another bin and name it audio. Go to this folder, double click it and add an audio track. This is an audio recording from the recorder. The next step is to go to the video folder and drag the video footage onto the timeline. We can see that the video is upside down. So we select one clip, press shift plus five and in the effects panel, rotate the video 270 degrees. The video is upside down, but we see black bars on the sides. This means our video doesn't fit our sequence. Go to the Sequence tab, then click on Settings. In these settings, you need to switch these two values. Here we enter 1080 and here 1920. Keep everything else the same. Then click OK. And we see that our video is now within the frame. But the second video is still upside down. And to fix it, go to the effect control of the first video. Select Motion, press Control plus C, and copy the settings of the first video. Highlight the second video on the timeline. Press Control plus V. Now the two videos are in the desired orientation. Then open the audio folder. In the project window, open it by pressing Shift plus 1. Drag the audio to the timeline. Highlight the audio along with the first video. Right click and choose Synchronize in the drop down window. Wait and the video is synchronized with the audio. Synchronize the second video in the same way. Move the video a little to the right. Choose the audio track. Cut it by pressing the C key. Right click on the video and audio. Select Synchronize, and the second video is also synchronized. Close the first track with audio by pressing M until it's deleted. Our next step is to watch our materials and choose what we need and what we don't. We cut out pauses and bad duplicates. For example, I like this piece. We put the playhead at the beginning of the phrase and press Shift plus S. Thus, we cut all clips along the playhead line. If you don't have this key combination active, press C and cut each track in turn. That way we can cut the desired piece. We look for the next good take and continue cutting our videos. Unnecessary pieces are deleted by pressing delete. The same key is used to delete empty space on the timeline. The video pieces are brought closer to each other. Thus we continue to delete everything unnecessary. We want to make a short video with the most successful takes. This is the short video we got, but we can see that the frame is static and we need to add dynamics. Select the first part of the video and go to the Effect Control tab or press Shift plus 5. Let's make the video on the first phrase a little closer to us and a bit in such a way that it seems like the camera is not on a tripod and the shooting was done freehand. Great. The movement's not too sharp, but just the way we need it. Next, select the Scale key. Right click on it and select Easy Out. Repeat the same with the other position key. Up to this point, we would like the video to zoom in even more and move in the other direction. Adjust the position and scale values and on the word online, we want the video to return to its original position. To do this, move the playhead to the beginning of the passage. Click these two dots and the first two keys are created. I highlight them and copy them with Ctrl plus C. Move to the end of the piece. Press Ctrl plus V and move these two keys to the very end. And let's see what we've done. Oh yeah, that's great. Here, for example, I cut whole phrases and cut out all the pauses because the gap between them was very tight. I made the following scale value on the phrase Upwork and Fiverr, leaving the piece with the word OR unchanged. This way, we put the keys on all the pieces of the video. Do it as you like, there's no general rules, only your imagination. When it's done, we can move on to the next step, adding titles. Now let's create subtitles. To do this, go to the text tab. If it's not there, then click on Window and click here. Then click on Transcribe. Next, we'll review the text and look for errors. Because artificial intelligence is not perfect. Yet. After checking, click Create Caption, 
Here we select the following settings. We'll skip the first two items as we're really only interested in these three settings. Here we'll set the value to 15 and we'll set the duration to 2 seconds. We leave this value at 0. Here we'll choose to have two lines of captions, a click create a caption, and wait. Our titles have appeared and the track with the titles has also appeared. The titles are now in two lines. This is exactly what we need. The next step is to find essential graphics. This tab can be here, or you can click on window and find it here. Go to the edit tab and select the subtitle on the timeline. We're going to skip these settings. Here we select the bold font, then the size to about 85. That's the size that suits us. Choose the text in the center. Now there's a font with capital letters by default. If your font is not so, then click on this button and all the letters will become capitalized. Leave the fill white. Put a check mark next to stroke. The text stroke will be black. And leave the number 4 as it is, leave the shadow black, and leave the transparency and slope the same. The distance setting is 5. Next, set the size to 24 and the blur to 45. We can already see the beautiful titles, but that's not all. Here in Essential Graphics, we can make a preset so we don't have to make all these settings again for the next video. Let's call this preset, I don't know, a white text. In the following videos, we'll only need to select this preset and the titles so that they'll look the same. The next step is to find a safe area for the titles. To do this, go to Project, double click and select the following image. Drag it to the timeline, make it a little bigger than the size of our window. There's a safe zone here because there are different icons like TikTok. I chose this one because TikTok has the smallest safe zones of all the networks. We need to make sure that our titles do not overlap all these inscriptions and icons. Select the titles, go to Essential Graphics. Here in the Alight and Transform section, select the center zone. We see that the titles are now centered. To lower them a little, left click on the Set Vertical Position indicator and move the titles lower. Now let's make the picture more transparent. Press Shift plus 5 to open the Effect Control window. Here we'll reduce the opacity value. You can see that the titles can be lowered a little more, and that's it. We can adjust all this later when we have a more complete video. The main thing now is that the titles are in the safe zone. We don't need this picture anymore, so select it and delete it with the delete key. Alright, let's add some colors. For example, let's create yellow and green titles. But first, we need to work with the titles. I want to add color to the words here are and then three ways one by one. To do this, we need to divide this passage into parts. I'm looking for where the phrase three ways ends. Now at this point, I'll press the C key and cut the first title into two parts. Next, I'll select the first part and double click on the program monitor. I highlight the phrase how you can, press backspace and thus delete the extra word so only the first part remains. Now, I'll also divide it into two parts, namely where the word R ends and the three begins. In the next title, I want to delete the word start. I also want the phrase making money to be on one line and I want to make the word online without two dots and only one word. We're looking for where the word online begins in the audio, so press C to cut the title. Select the second piece, press twice on the text and delete making money. Then on the first part of the phrase, delete online, adjust the titles to fit the video. Open the project tab and create a new bin, image. We'll dump the image with the safe zones into it so we don't have anything unnecessary. Go into it and add a color swatch. I'll explain why later. For now, let's just drag the palette onto the timeline. Stretch it to the length of the entire video. Double click on the text and another cursor appears. Highlight the desired phrase and go to Essential Graphics. Click on the Fill tool, take the eyedropper and choose yellow. Select the second part of the first dash. Select the end of the phrase and choose yellow as well. I needed this palette so that the same yellow color would be used on the other titles that needed to be painted. Let's take a look at what we did. The first phrase became yellow and the second one is white, and vice versa. Here are in white and three ways in yellow. Next, I want to highlight the phrase making money. I want to make the word money green because I associate the dollar with the green color. So to do this, I'm looking for where the word ends in the making audio. It's somewhere here. Um, I press C and cut the title in half. I select the second part and highlight the word money. Next, Essential Graphics, Fill, take the eyedropper, and choose the green color. To make the word money more noticeable, go to Essential Graphic again and select a font size, for example, 115. Let's make a larger font for making separately. Also select size 115. Oh, that's great. Let's see what we've done. Let's make the word online bigger as well. 
Choose a font size of 115. I think it would be nice to make this word green. Fill, eyedropper, green. All right, let's look at it again. Here, I've left out the word start, so I'm going to move the title with the phrase making money to where it starts in the audio. And in the title with the phrase how you can, we'll move the phrase can to the next line and add start. Let's look at it again. It's already pretty good, but it could be better. Let's add some movement to our titles to add some dynamics. Premiere Pro 24 has a feature that's really important for title dynamics. We can turn titles into regular text, i.e. a graphic element. This gives us more tools to create cool titles. Go to Graphics and Titles. Click Upgrade Caption to Graphic. And what do we see? Our titles have disappeared from the title track and appeared as regular text on the timeline with our adjustments. Next, let's animate the first phrase. Select the first two titles. Right-click and create a nest. You can set a name and click OK. After that, press Shift plus 5 to open the Effect Controls menu. Here, we'll create animation keys. Click on the stopwatch icon of the position, scale, rotation parameters. The keys that appear are the current position of the titles. Let's move the playhead to the beginning and change the slope to minus 2. Let's move the playhead to the end and change the slope value by 2. Let's see what happened. Let's leave the following phrases as they are, but with online, let's do the following. Put the playhead at the beginning. Add the position, scale, rotation keys, and change the scope to minus 2. Let's move it a little to the left and leave the size the same. You can see that the image is moving away, so we'll make the titles come closer and raise them a little. In this way, we change the angle, scale, position, and color at our discretion. There are no specific rules here. It all depends on your taste. Now, I'll finish here and move on to the next stage. At this stage, we've already made the necessary video and shooting gallery animations. We also colored the necessary phrases. So next, we'll add graphics to make the video even more interesting. In this excerpt, I cut out the words Upwork and Fiverr in the credits because we'll show these words with the help of logos. Go to the Project window, go to the Image folder, and add the Upwork and Fiverr logos. The logos should be in PNG format with a transparent background. Drag the Upward logo to the timeline and cut the phrases to length. Create a simple animation. Go to the Effect Control tab or press Shift plus 5 to reduce the size a bit and put keys on position and scale. Let's lower it a little bit, and at the end put another scale key so that the logo grows. Let's see what we've done. Looks really simple. Let's add a shadow. Press Shift plus 7 and write Shadow here. Here, select the Drop Shadow effect and drag it onto the logo. Go to the Effect Control tab. Drop down the menu and find Our Effect. Leave the color black. Make the distance 135 and direct the shadow to the bottom. We'll set transparency to 100. And let's make the shadow softer. Let's take a look at what we've done. Oh, Yeah, I think that's a really great result. Uh, let's do the same with the Fiverr logo. Go to the Project window and drag the logo. To remove all this excess on the logo, go to Effects by pressing Shift plus 7, look for Crop and drag this effect onto the logo. Go to Effect Control and cut off all the excess from the right and the bottom. Now go to Effect Control and the Upward logo, select Motion, hold down Control plus C, and copy all the keys to the Fiverr logo. If necessary, adjust the position settings. The next step is to copy the Shadow effect from the Upwork logo and drag it onto the Fiverr logo. This is how we can add and design graphic materials to our video. Here, for example, instead of the titles, we'll use the Shopify, Etsy, and Amazon logos. Only here, we'll make the shadow white, and the logos will shrink on the contrary. Let's add a picture with money at the beginning. It's the same as with the logos we did earlier. Go to the effect control and reduce it a little. We put the keys and move them somewhere in the middle, and at the beginning, let's make the image move to the bottom of the screen. And gradually, it'll grow larger. Place the last keys where the word money ends in the audio. We will also copy the shadow from any logo. The only thing you need to do is make sure the distance and softness of the shadow is a little bit bigger. Check it out and adjust it if necessary. In this way, we can add any pictures, logos, or graphics. Let's add an arrow to the phrase making money, which will further emphasize this phrase. Go to Project and add the arrow to the folder with the pictures. Drag it to the timeline. Go to Effect Controls and set the keys again. I want the arrow to move from the top and follow this trajectory. I like that result. We can also add emoticons or emojis that fit the meaning. 
So for example, here where the word programming is, I want to put the following icon. We do the same procedure for placing animation keys. Let's also add a picture under the words fulfill orders. So for example, I have the following picture. It's a JPEG. Let's make it bigger. To make the top edges less sharp, let's make a transparency mask. In the effect controls, select opacity, choose a square mask and expand it so that the mask is larger than our image. Choose the mask feather value so that the top border becomes transparent. The next step is to make the image extend from the top to the bottom. Almost everything is done. Let's add some color to our video. Go to the project window and find the following new item icon and select adjustment layer. Leave all these parameters as they are and click OK. Now we need to drag all the materials except the video up so that we don't color them. Drag this layer to the timeline and stretch it. Click on it, then select Lumetri Color from the Window tab. In this window, let's add a little warmth, something, you know, like this. The following parameters are skipped. You can add a little shadow and remove the white and add blacks. We can compare how it was without color and how it is with it. And that's pretty much it. I finally, we'll add some sound effects and work with the sound. Click on the window and select Audio Meters. We need the sound to be around minus six decibels. For now, I'm happy with the volume level from the recorder, but if you need to add more, press G and add five. For example, let's listen. This is already too much. I think you understand what the level should be. Finally, I wanna add some sound effects. I have the sound of an old cash register. Let's add it to the separate track and so that the sound coincides with the animation. That sounds really loud. Select this track and press G and set the value to minus 17. Yeah, that level suits me just fine. Using the same principle, add other sound effects that you like. For example, I added this mouse click here, and here's the sound of a coin like in a game. And here are different swooshes and so on. Let's review and check our video. We save it. Our video with a million views is ready. We made a really cool video, and if you wanna learn even better editing in Adobe Premiere Pro, follow the link in the description and take my video course. I also recommend you watch this video.